Hi, Dean Brown here for Exotic Guitars and Effects. I uh, want to talk a little bit about this new exotic volume control pedal. This is the gold version, which is a high impedance version, which uh, I'm told is uh, better for, for guitar application uh, as opposed to the red one, which is a low impedance one. But anyway, um, what I want to talk about is how I use a volume control pedal. and. Um, you know, other than the sort of boutique -y kind of effects of, of doing swells and things like that, I really use the volume control pedal to control the gain structure of stuff. Um, I get a sound I like, and then for instance, I'll, you know. So you see I'm doing these subtle little changes in volume, almost like, um, like a horn player. Like that's the way I look at it. Like one thing that a horn player can do that a guitar can't uh, is a horn player can play a note and then he can make that note louder after the note starts. That's something that we can't do unless we use our volume control pedal on the, uh, you know, our volume control uh, uh, pot on the guitar or use, for me, it's more comfortable to use a volume control pedal. So what um, the idea, the concept here is that what I do is I get a sound palette that I like that, that requires a combination of setting the volume control on the guitar just right so that it hits the pedals the way I want it to hit them. And then all of that stuff happens pre the volume pedal. And so when I use the volume pedal, now all the volume pedal is doing is making that sound louder or softer, that same sound. Whereas if you try to do that just without a, without a volume pedal, then as you change this, the volume on your guitar, it's gonna change all the gain structures and it's gonna change the sound to the, to, the, uh, to the whole experience, which for some people is desirable. I mean, you know, the old telly guys like, um, like like Danny Gatton or uh, Roy Buchanan, you know, those guys, I don't think they use a volume control pedal. They just used, you know, went old school and just, and just did it with, uh, with their hand. But that's a different thing than what I'm trying to do. They're, they're, that actually changes the sound, which is what they were trying to do is change the sound. What I'm trying to do is keep the sound uh, more or less consistent and then if the band gets louder, I can get louder and still have the same sound. So, uh, uh, you know, just to give you an idea, like uh, I'm, I'm gonna be playing a, uh, the groove to a tune of mine called Solid. And so I've got this sound that I like that's set up. You see, but. No matter what volume I have it at, it's still basically sounds like that. Of course, it's gonna be affected slightly by, the, uh, by how, it how the amp reacts to being hit harder. But, uh, but it's not as radical as if I had changed the volume on the guitar. So let's, uh, you know, that's enough talking about it for the moment. Let's, let, let's, let, let me play a little bit and you'll see, I think you'll see that I'm constantly making micro adjustments with the volume in order to sort of facilitate uh, different things that I'm trying to play, you know? The song isn't super subtle, but even in this more raucous setting, I still find myself kind of working the volume control pedal. So let's check it out.
Okay, so again, I'm talking about this uh, the usages for the uh, for the exotic uh, volume control pedal. I, another thing I want to mention about the pedal um, uh, is that the reason why I like it, one of the the big reasons I like it, is that it's it's very smooth from the beginning all the way to the end, like. There's so much variation from from zero to a hundred uh, that that makes it so much more expressive than most volume pedals that I've uh, that I've experienced. A lot of them have weird little spikes, like you'll hear it, they'll go like that, and then they'll, you know that kind of thing, and it's a drag, you know, because you you got to kind of guesstimate where that thing is going to be. But I don't have to worry about that with this pedal. This is. Uh, this is really great. It's, uh, it's a bit of a smaller footprint than uh, some other volume pedals. So, you know, we all like that. You know, it makes it easier to fit on these uh, compact pedal boards like the one I'm using here. Um, uh, as I said earlier um, in, in, in one of the discussions about this, about how I use a, a, a volume pedal, I generally try to get... Uh, a sound I like and then I use the volume pedal to just make that sound louder um, or softer and so if I'm playing like a solo piece something like if I say
the whole time I'm playing, I'm working the volume pedal to sort of s sound more like a singer or, 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 or like I say, like a horn player or something. And for me, uh, uh, it's, I can't, I can hardly play without one now. I'm, I'm so used to it. And so the volume pedal for me is not an effect. It's, it's integral to what I'm trying to do uh, expressively on the guitar.